don't know is the efforts that I've gone to to resolve this. That would be another rerun of another interview on another day that Harry has gave since going away to find free to seek out his privacy in how we hear him speak about people don't see what I've tried to do, as in the sentence before, he's demanding accountability and responsibility from his family. Even though we've all watched, we've all looked on as they cashed in, taking the money to the bank, buying their mansions in Montecito without a flying fuck about the pain and devastation that they have caused as they become Harry, your own media storm. You became the media. Well done. You became everything that you grew up to hate. In every interview that we see, hours and hours, we look on and just think, really? Really? Do you actually? I, I get that there's spoil and there's entitlement and he's a prince, so it's going to be up there. But still, there's a human element, emotion, guilt shame upon oneself as he convinces the world that he's created every effort to maintain to fix as we watched him and we knew oprah came round for tea in knox cots remember you just wouldn't believe it they wouldn't believe it this billionaire as later on we find you on her sofa speaking some more as your granddad was in a hospital bed watching on as you attacked another just like the media do just like they did to you you become them you know and and was this your effort did you think that airing it to us and sharing it the, with the world would get you there did you really think that this would fix this because any sane person looking on knew the moment you sat on that sofa with oprah there was no going back you were done it could have gone your way but it never, of course, people looked on and said, no, this just isn't the way. And, and this effort that's been made was that Netflix, as you carried on with this tirade, cashing in to the bank again, more money for Meghan and Harry, their media storm churning out on a loop, on repeat, as you attacked your family. But it didn't end there, did it? You know, you made more effort, didn't you, in writing a book about your life. It wasn't about you, your story. It was about what they did to you, what they'd done to you. <laughs> and we all looked on and think, for extra sausage on a plate, an older sibling, that's the norm. In every home up and down the country, across the world, pecking order, the bigger one, more food in their belly, because they're bigger than you. A scrap in the kitchen. You're lucky if a dog bowl got broke and you had a scratch on your back because most brothers and sisters will fight, like really fight. <laughs> but still you brought your book and you put it on pause as your gran, cause she's been poorly throughout all of this as we've been watching on, as you've been cashing in. She come to that point where it was the end of her life and her family, the ones that have been around her while she'd been attacking her, it was made about you. Was that the effort that you created in order to reach out to fix? <laughs> I feel like Harry had his wheat a bit. <laughs> like seriously, seriously, I just, every interview, and there's hours and hours, you look on and think, no, really? Do you actually, do you actually believe this? Have you been gaslit this much that you need to gaslight us? And, and that's, that's genuinely how I feel, just my opinion. I'm not a journalist, but I'm just, my mind's just boggled in how someone can be so entitled to the fact that they can do all they have, pre-planned, pre-prepared attacks. But you went to go and say your goodbyes to your gran. She was there by your side and you whispered into her ear. And where we thought, oh good, he's cancelled his book, he's put it on pause, maybe he won't bring it out. Maybe this grief and seeing the faces will help with our desperate cause. No, you went back and you added extra bits. The words you spoke to her, which should have gone with you to the grave. Sacred moments. As you whispered in her ear, you brought it to us. You wrote it on print, like the media would like you did about your family.